was in school and the like little library room was kind of like shut off like no one went in there because like who the fuck goes to the library you know the whole basketball team did you get trained by a basketball team yeah yeah yeah. How many guys? Eleven. Eleven guys. Isn't like the whole team or anything, but just like that's the whole f roster. That's somebody's daughter. I ain't gonna lie, bro. <clears throat> I ain't trying to be a part of that a type of train like that. That's too many carts. That's too many. That's too many penises, bro. She nasty for allowing eleven dudes to do that to her. But them eleven dudes is nasty. Whoever went after the first guy is nasty. Matter of fact, you know what? After number two. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Y'all nasty. Y'all nasty. I'm. I'm just throw it out there. Y'all nasty. Well, I had a guy um me while I was on my period. I think it was like the second or last day, and then I sucked his right after. So I pretty much ate my period blood. Word. How was that for you? Hey yo. Uh, every time I see this chubby, this chubby, I know. I know the video going to be crazy. I know whoever he interviewing is going to say something out the way. Out the way. When I tasted it, I was like, oh, shit. This is my period blood, but I mean, we're here already, so might as well keep going. So that's what I did. Well, I like that for you. <laughs> <laughs> the show must go on. What does it taste like? <sighs> Like iron, I think. Little pennies. Yeah. Penny water. <laughs> Little penny water. I say that. I say that. Next video. Are you single? Yeah. How single are you? How recently single are you? Like two weeks. Two weeks? Yep. And you're out here already trying to live life? Yeah. I mean, yeah. You go, girl. What was the reason? I don't put that out there. Now but... you want to have fun, huh? No. Hey, but... babe. <laughs> you again? Oh. Yeah. One bitch. She is lying like a mother. You again? Yeah. Uh, it's only been two weeks. Yeah. Hey, bro, yeah. How, how long you been talking to this girl? Ah, uh, a month. A month? Yeah. Bro, she just said she got out of a relationship. Yeah, she, like a little while ago. I've been talking to her. Though. What you on? What you on? Bro, let's, so let's hear. Let's you were talking to her while she was with her guy. Yeah, she liked that. It's an evil world we live in. Damn, bro. Come on now. Damn, Come bro. On. How much you packing, bro? Come on now. How much? Two inches. What? Come on. Hey, two inches does a lot at well, 90 what miles an hour. What question was that? Let me tell y'all something. What, all I'm going to say about that is how you get them is how you lose them. That goes for men and women. How you get them is how you lose them. So if you got her because she cheated on her boyfriend with you, guess what? You're going to lose her because she's going to cheat on you with somebody else. <laughs> I've done this before. I don't know what L strip club they was working at, but um, they had a past. <laughs> video is for anyone who is in the gym and the fitness world i've struggled with body dysmorphia and feeling comfortable in gyms my entire life and when i found a gym that i felt comfortable in and that i really enjoyed um it changed my life now i need your real genuine advice on this because something really really disappointing happened to me at the last gym i was going to they actually said something to me that made me feel so uncomfortable that i never wanted to go back there again so we are going to talk about why i pulled up this photo and i'll show it to you in a moment but um basically what happened 
is the owner of the gym came up to me. Um, this is also a very private owned fitness center, all women. And um, I really liked that. So the owner comes up to me and they say, hey, listen, uh, we got to have a quick chat. And I'm like, sure, what's going on? And I could sense that something was wrong because the conversation got uncomfortable really quickly. And they said, hey, we got to have a talk about your dress code. I'm like, my dress code? You know, I wear leggings and a sports bra every day. That's just what I wear. And this day in particular, I was wearing these yellow leggings that I'll show to you in a second. And they continued to say, I'm really sorry we have to have this conversation, but um, apparently you're making a few women feel uncomfortable with the leggings that you wear. My initial reaction is confusion and shock. Um, and then it was more of like, embarrassment um i almost felt like shame even though i shouldn't and i said how am i making women feel uncomfortable here this is supposed to be like a safe space for us no judgment and you know i wasn't wearing anything that was inappropriate and they're like yeah i don't know there you know a few women more than one came up to me and said that uh you know the leggings that you wear are you know distracting and um also offensive i was like offensive you know, when I think of like clothing that is offensive, I mean, if I was walking around in a thong or something, maybe I could understand. Now I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the pants that I was wearing. So these are the pants. I have them in multiple colors. They are bright. Um, you know, my assets do maybe stand out more, but I don't think that there's anything wrong with this. Why, why am I being shamed by this? Especially for a women's gym. I really want your opinion. Um, if you are an owner of a gym, I would love to hear an explanation on why this would be offensive. Or if you are a gym goer or another woman, would my pants offend you? And now I feel self-conscious all over again. Comment below guys. I don't know how to feel about this. On one hand, I do feel as though you know, it's probably some women who don't have the, her shape and they're offended that she's showing off her shape. On the other hand, imagine this. You went to an all-women's gym and they pull you to the corner about your dress code. But if you was at a men's gym, you would be upset because we looking at you. I click, usually I click the videos because of thumbnails, okay? I read the caption and I click the video based on the thumbnail. This one... The thumbnail look a little iffy to me. So I don't know if it's, this one's going to make it into the video. It depends what happens here. Um, the thumbnail, the, the, the gang gang different nowadays. He spanked his homie with a belt. That's what I read. Now, I just can't believe that this grown ass man is going to allow another grown ass man to spank him. Um, From the Chico from the night, who are you? Okay. Chain. Little hat. What the fuck my damn bar, bro? He looks scared. Why? Why is this happening, bro? Because I was I was telling the truth. I'm gonna ask you again, why was this happening, bro? Because I texted what are the ops I guess. You was fucking with the ops, right? You text one of the ops. Alright. So now I'm gonna plan that leather. Close credit. Bell to ass. Come on. Oh yeah, let me show y'all my new tattoo too, yeah. Just so y'all remember. Brand new tag. Yeah, bitch. You wanna stop up with the ops? Yeah. You wanna stop up with the ops? Huh? Yeah. You wanna stop up with the ops? Hold on, cuz. Hold on, hold on, hold on now. Hold on now. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Hold on, bro. Now, listen to me. I don't, I don't support gang life. I, I think, you know, gang bang is it's not something I support. And during my heyday, if you did something, discipline, this, ah, disciplinary action, I'm sorry, you had to stand in a circle and fight. You either was going to get jumped or you going to, was nobody pulling no belt out and, and spanking you. You want to stop fucking up, right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, he talking to you like he a daddy. So that's why you shouldn't fuck with the ops. You understood? For everybody that's watching him, you know not to what? Fuck with the ops. You know not to what? Fuck with the ops. Or what? Apply that letter, right? Yeah. Okay. Hey, yo.